always insert the 3 8 inch nut driver into the drill before operating the tool. Ensure that the draw stud is inserted all the way to the bottom of the threads. Um, always remember that this little lip right here must be protruding above the top of the tool. Cutter on. Ensure that the threads are protruding beyond the cutter. Okay. When punching through stainless steel, turn your drill to the lower speeds and lower torque. Cool. And just give it full speed. Okay. Now you can see that there's an annular ring around there. Just pass the annular ring. Set it up. We're ready to roll. Hi, my name is Mike Jordan, co-inventor and vice president here at iToolco. Today I want to talk to you about the features and benefits of our new gear punch. The kit comes in half through 2 inch, half through 4 inch, and half through 6 inch. Now let's dive into what the half through 2 inch kit has to offer. First of all, let's talk about the case. Okay, The case is made from high impact HDPE polyethylene. All right. Next thing you'll notice is it has a nice thick handle for carrying and then that the uh, case is also watertight. Comes with these nice latches. Now let's dive into the inside of what we're offering in here. Okay. So what you're going to notice right off the bat is that there's two of everything. There's two step bits. There's two of the small draw studs. Two 3 8 inch deep well nut drivers. Two of the medium draw studs. All of the draw studs feature a lifetime replacement guarantee. It also features the center point layout tool which there's an in-depth video on that and then it features your half uh, through two inch punch. Okay, Each punch has the um, size that you're knocking out laser etched into the tool both on the cup and the cutter. Okay, The reason why we put two of everything in the kit here is you take one of these uh, step bits, one of the small draw studs, one of the um, nut drivers, and one of your medium draw studs. Go ahead and sto store those in a place um, where you where they're readily accessible. Okay. Um, then that way, if your guys in the field lose one, you're you're not hunting around looking for one. You just pull this one out and go ahead and. It's not going to shut you down and then you'll have um, the spare parts that you need to complete your job while you're uh, rounding up the other ones. Okay. The next thing is that you're going to notice on each one of the cups and cutters there's hash marks on each one of the cups and cutters. All right. You're also going to notice that the directions are right here behind the, uh, behind the foam on every case so that stores right there on every job site. The half through four inch kit features the everything that the half through two inch kit features and then it's got two of the larger draw studs um, the two and a half three inch three and a half and four inch cups and cutters okay we're the only manufacturer out there that includes an actual three and a half inch cup and cutter inside the kit. The half through six inch kit features everything that the half through four inch kit has just an additional case that has again two of the larger draw studs the five inch and the six inch cup and cutter stainless steel and mild steel rated up to 14 gauge. Now let's assemble the tool. Okay the main innovation that we did with our gear punch is we wanted a tool that would handle both uh, mild steel and stainless steel up to 10 gauge. Okay, So this tool will handle both steels. Um, the cups and cutter will handle any type of steel as well. So let's go ahead and assemble the tool. Grab your draw stud. First drill your panel. Next, let's do our rock. OK, 
Okay, let's do a piece of 10 gauge stainless steel. Um, always remember that this little lip right here must be protruding above the top of the tool. Go ahead and insert your cup on the tool. Grab your uh, cutting edge. When punching through stainless steel, turn your drill to the lower speeds and lower torque. Put your nut driver on. You can see there's a 10 gauge stainless steel that we're knocking out right here. Same deal. We're going to go down right there towards that past the knockout. Making sure that it comes all the way off the tool again. Alright, for two and a half through four inch knockouts, we're going to use our larger draw stud. Insert that the same way you do the smaller draw stud. Again, we're on 10 gauge stainless steel here. We're just going to drop our cup on, put a cutter through, spin that on, spin your cutter on, ensure that the threads are protruding beyond the cutter. Okay, now Let's go ahead and perform our knockout. Please insert the 3 8 inch nut driver into the drill before operating the tool. Ensure that the draw stud is inserted all the way to the bottom of the thread. Just remember that this little lip right here must be protruding above the top of the tool. When punching through stainless steel, turn your drill to the lower speeds and lower Ensure that the threads are protruding beyond the cutter, okay? And just give it full speed, okay? Now you can see that there's an annular ring around there. Just pass the annular ring, set it up, we're ready to roll. Put the